City is finally within reach. And you, Lachna, your work will help ensure that the Chiron network remains online. Together, we might just make it all the way west. Now then, Sam, there's something else you ought to know. We've been studying the data from when you claim you encountered those soldiers. We had audio, which doesn't paint a complete picture on its own, but the languages, the names, and terms we picked out, the munitions we could identify. Everything seems to indicate that you were on a battlefield over a hundred years ago. World War I, to be precise. It wasn't a dream. It wasn't a hallucination. Maybe you were spirited away to another dimension or something. And given the time discrepancies, maybe you were sent to a beach. Can't say anything for certain. That said, I, I've never heard of a beach turned into a battlefield. But beaches are shaped by the will of the people who inhabit them. Perhaps Hartman can offer a more rational explanation. Beaches are his specialty. Unfortunately, he's still outside the Cairo network. Anyway, get some rest. No use dwelling on questions we can't answer yet. Looking for this? Surprise! Fragile warped me here. I finally got to visit the beach. Well, her beach. Don't worry, I didn't come all this way for the sightseeing. Your beloved BB has a serious issue. You may recall me explaining that these incubators connect BBs via the chiral network to their still mothers back at HQ. Bridge babies are quite literally bridges between this world and the other side. Their place is not here with us, nor with the BTs over there. They belong precisely in between, with no greater affinity for one world or the other. But BB-28 here has been leaning further and further towards the world of the living towards you, Sam. It's because we're partners. Hmm. Partners? Sam, a baby's a tool, not a human being. Bridge, yes. Baby, no. So tell me what the problem is. This tool, this weapon, is transforming into a living being. It's gaining weight. Its brain activity is increasing. It's accumulating memories. BB-28 is becoming self-aware, becoming an actual child. It doesn't sound like a problem to me. It's hardware, Sam. Manufactured for a purpose. A purpose that cannot fulfill outside the pod. There is a 70% risk of catastrophic failure simply in removing it. Which hardly matters, because at this point, it'll cease functioning within a couple of days. Cease functioning? That's right. Not even the pod will be enough. It'll be bricked. What do we do? We reset it. You'll have to leave it with me, of course. I'll cut the cord that links the two of you, and then perform an operation that reconnects it to the other side. Think of it as a little tug to correct its alignment to put it back where it belongs, right between the world of the living and the dead. But like I said, you'll have to be without it for a while. You're sure this will work? <sighs> of course. One catch, though. The surgery may erase its memories. Erase? Will forget me? Relax. The BB will still function as intended. You just have to trust me. Come on. Uh, I'm telling you, it's like a game. Just select me, try, and start again! Uh. Oh. Uh. And this is why I hate these things. Uh. Oof. Uh. 
Sam. I was already filthy from my trip through the beach, but now your BB has added insult to injury. in here. It's just you and me. No audio records of what we say. No video for lip reading analysis. Get closer. Die Hardman cannot know of this. Understood? I've been doing some digging into the first BB experiments. Officially, they were suspended by the government following a void out which claimed the life of the then acting president. Documents were shredded. BB technology banned, yes? But obviously, the experiments continued in secret, on the direct orders of President Strand. Bridget? The BBs were essential to solving the mystery of the Death Stranding. Oh, she had big plans for them. They weren't designed just to be BT detectors. She wanted to incorporate them into the Cairo network to facilitate travel to the beach. But none of her plans ever came to fruition. And now BB Tech has fallen into terrorist hands. What's Di Hardman's part in this? I'm afraid to find out. I don't know how long he was working for Strand. I don't even know his real name or his face. I thought you might. Since you two go further back. He was already wearing a mask when I met him. Something about burning his face. Brian, sorry. Any data we have from back then is classified at the highest level. As far as I know, the director is the only one with clearance. But the chiral network presents a new opportunity. By compiling fragmented data in the public domain from all across the country, I might be able to piece together a little more of the puzzle. Be careful, Sam. They're watching. Well, Sam, you're a good sport. I'll give you that. Still, it's a fine way to get out of doing the laundry. <laughs> Just fix BB, all right? Oh, no. You'll be doing the fixing. I'd never manage without your help. <laughs> Check the delivery terminal upstairs for the details. When you're ready, of course. Deadman tells me your BB isn't performing to spec. 
We'll have to put your primary mission on hold until we restore its functionality. It's our only Dooms compatible unit. And you're gonna have to deal with more BTs as you head further west. Case in point, Amelie's informed us of a tar belt outside of Edgenot City. A massive region crawling with BTs that Higgs supposedly summoned. And as much as we want you to get her out as soon as possible, you'll have a snowball's chance in hell without your BB. So your first priority is to help Dead Man restore it to working order. And since he's on site, maybe the two of you can discuss it in person. Sam, I'm a little busy at the moment, so I hope you don't mind if we stick to Hollow. First, I need you to link up a few preppers in the area so we can increase local chiral density. That's to bolster the connection between BB-28 and its still mother. Then, as I explained earlier, we need to correct your BB's alignment. To facilitate that process, we need to quite literally put some distance between you two. Keep it here while we send you out. If everything goes to plan, your BB should resume normal function. Fortunately, this plan advances our other objectives. We want to integrate this region into the chiral network anyway. So build relationships with the preppers by making deliveries and convince them to come on board. It's not easy to make a home for yourself in those mountains. Even so, plenty of people had a mind to try. You'll find shelters scattered throughout. We've got a whole list of orders from them waiting to be processed. Remember, though, that you're dealing with folks who chose to live out there. Folks who probably value their privacy. Don't think for a second it'll be easy to win them over. You'll have to earn their trust, bit by bit, job by job. Another thing, Sam. You'll be making runs without a BB for a spell. That will vastly diminish your ability to detect BTs. So keep your eyes and ears open for anything out of the ordinary. And stay the hell out of the rain if you can help it. <laughs> 